Hi, this is Colin with Maker Farm. This video is uh, to show you how to wire the end stops for your i3V Prusa. Um, you're going to want to find the end stop page in the build guide. Um, gather everything that you need for that, which is going to include a soldering iron as well as your switches and some wires. Um, you're going to go ahead and grab the three of the wires where it says end stop. If you can, I don't know if that'll focus. It says end stop on the end there. These all have three wires. They have a red, a black, and a blue. We don't use the red, so you can just get that out, throw it away, because our end stops will not be using those. Okay, then you're left with the end stop wire. There's two wires, black and a blue, and you're going to have your switch. Uh, on your switch, you're going to see a C, NO and an NC. So on this switch, this leg right here is C, and that's where we're going to put the black. And then this leg over here is NC, and that's where we're going to put the blue. I just kind of fold the wires over on there. Then you're going to get your soldering iron and just solder those wires on there. So then you can see we've got nice little solder, solder joints on there. Okay, and then just go ahead and do that with the other two switches as well. So the black goes on C, the blue goes on NC. solder to keep them in place. When you're doing this one thing you want to make sure is that you don't hold the soldering iron on the switch leg for too long. If you hold it there for a long time um, it can actually melt the switch and then your switch won't work. So you just do it as short of a time as you possibly can. Okay. So there I've got my three switches all soldered on. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab these pieces. You'll notice one of them is different and it says X on it. That is for our X axis. And we'll start with that one. We're going to get some zip ties. And we're going to zip tie this in place. And basically the X axis, the leg, that's farthest away is going to go on the opposite side of that cutout. So when it's assembled, it'll go like that. We just put our zip tie in. About like that. Cut off the excess part of the zip tie. And that is our assembled X axis end stop. And we're going to have one for the y-axis that's going to go under the heat bed. And for this one, that's how I mount the y-axis one. Make sure you get this in the right location. Actually, I might have that one upside down. That might need to go the other way. So it doesn't hit the bed. So it's going to go like this. This is the correct way for the y-axis. There we go. 
there's the y-axis one with the flag in the correct position it's going to be sitting like this and the bed's going to be going over the top of it and then it's going to hit the switch there okay then for the last one for the z-axis I get my little piece of wood but we're going to actually remove a slight bit of that wood to make this a little bit thinner so I usually take off maybe a millimeter of wood okay and then we can go ahead and zip tie this one on it can go the same orientation as that Y end stop just like that so that's all I removed it was about a millimeter one or two millimeters will work if you take off too much you, you'll probably have some issues okay the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mount these on our printer now so go ahead and get your printer here's mine we're going to first put the y-axis one on so there's a there's our bolt already there we're going to grab our end stop you're going to take your m5 bolt and that's going to go through that hole Okay, and then we're going to screw it onto that T-nut that we installed earlier. Okay, we'll adjust it later. But basically when we get ready to adjust it, we can loosen it, move it one way or the other way. So that when the bed comes back, it will stop. It'll hit the switch when our nozzle is right over this back corner. Okay, so that's pretty good. We'll adjust it more later. Next one we're going to get is the X end stop switch. That's the one where it has the little cutout there. That's going to go up here. goes on the side of our X idler. Just do the same thing, put that bolt in there. Put that in that T-nut that's already in the extrusion. And then we can move it all the way over to adjust it. We'll adjust this more later, but basically when your x-axis or your x-carriage comes over it will hit that and we want that to be centered over the uh, corner of the heat bed also just like that okay then the last one is going to be our z end stop and for this one it may be easier to lean this down or lay this down it's over here on the same side as the Z, or as the X idler. I'm going to put my finger down there so that that T nut doesn't slide out. Put that bolt in there. And get it lined up with that T nut. Okay, 
there. Tighten that down and then basically what we want is for when this X carriage, the whole X assembly comes down, it's going to hit it like that. This is going to be stationary and this is going this is going to move, but it's going to basically hit the bottom of the wood. That's why we removed some of this wood is so that it would hit it properly. We'll get that fine-tuned when we get the hot end in installed, and then we'll know exactly how far away um, where to position this so that our nozzle is the correct distance away from the glass. Um, that is everything for the end stop. So you should have all three end stops now. In the next video, we're going to start wiring everything up. Well, actually, we're going to do the extruder and the hot end next, and then we'll wire everything up to your ramps. Uh, make sure to refer to your build guide. Any new information will be put in the build guide. Um, if you have any questions, of course, you can contact us from the uh, contact in information in the build guide as well. Thank you.